Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to episode 16 of City Skylines. I've just loaded it up this week. Uh, we've come to see that all our industrial areas seem to have these big blue mass areas of people where it says not enough educated workers. Obviously we realised that from the last episode where we've built loads of schools. Uh, but it's too late in telling us that not enough educated workers. I mean, people did actually come to work in these places for quite a while. Now all of a sudden they're, they're not educated enough. But we'll look at the education levels. We can see uh, for elementary school, the reds are the areas where people aren't educated and oranges and sort of going towards greens, they are educated. This is the high schools. So we need more, definitely like I have put more high school down. They'll be fine now. And uh, so library, university. Uh, yeah, university level, I only had one university, but it wasn't close enough to cover the whole area. So we just need to wait for all this to take effect. Let's unpause the game and get it going this week, see what we can do. Okay, just spent 60 grand on a brand new police headquarters. Let's hope it's worth it. Hey guys, 60 grand. Nice, okay, we definitely needed it. Let's get into that point. So there's more fire risk in an area that doesn't have sort of good fire coverage with a fire station. So that'll be up here then at Cozy Hills and Thornton Square, the industrial place. That's all orange. I didn't have a fire station covering that area. So let's put another one down here. We've just about got enough cash. So that should cover that orange area as well. We've already got two fire stations there already as well. Right, so we've just put in a couple of toll booths over this end of the city. Obviously we knew people were getting in and out for free. So we've just put that in. Set the price to £1.50 for cars, £3 for trucks. Uh, this was only on £1.30, so I also upped this £1.50. And this one, £1.50 to £3. There we go, £1.50 cars, £3 trucks. Ooh, tax is too high. Let's check how the hydro dam's doing. It does look like it's built up nice now behind it. They had to build up loads of water and sort it out. There we go, 608 megawatts. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever had that much. Oh my god, I mean this part behind it went quite dry while this part will build up. I mean if we look upstream now, let's hope it hasn't uh, overflown and leaked anywhere. It's got quite high, look at that. You can always raise that land slightly and adjust that later. <laughs> 608, nice. That means we can adjust the budget of the electricity and bring it right down. Just get rid of our old wind farms here. Don't need these anymore, thank you very much. Do need to keep an eye on the electricity level as we do that though. Make sure it's not gonna go out of that. We're just sort of in within budget there. Let's put the budget up a little bit just to cover that. So we've got enough electricity to cover us down the bottom there where it says 18,269. 18, that was 14,000 something. That's, that's the amount of cash that's sort of, it's not the amount that's coming in weekly, but that's sort of, it adds to it. If you keep an eye on that figure, it'll keep sort of going up. That's a regular amount you're getting. Maybe it's like a monthly amount you'll get, but it sort of changes on a daily figure. So it was 14,000 something after adjusting all the power, lowering the budget and getting rid of those. It's gone up to 18 and a half. 25,000 residents. We've still got this problem with uh, not enough educated citizens. Not a lot I can do about that until they're educated. But Maybe they don't like this this low level industrial farming. Maybe it's that. Let's pause the game here. I'm going to change a load of. So we have this problem down here with the office blocks. Maybe they don't like the farming industry anymore. We, maybe we're past that. Okay. So I haven't demolished anything. I've just uh, I've just removed the colour that was there, the yellow, and I've put it all down as blue. So we'll see how quickly people start moving into this. Maybe I need to, maybe I do need to get rid of this crap first. But you don't need to, I think, but it'll make it quicker if I do. I'll see how quickly people move in. And hopefully that'll improve the area and the land and the grass as well, because it just looks manky. Sorry, I had the game paused. That's not going to help, is it? 
There we go, yeah, it's not gonna, I don't think it's gonna take long at all because we've got so much work needed. Look at the bottom right, the orange bar. So yeah, this will fill up quickly, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's three moved in already, so it's gonna start. We must be, we must be past the era of farming. Okay, so what's happened here with the, the workforce and these farms, etc. Uh, there's a policy called Industry 4.0 and it means you let go of these older industries and enact new policies, take hold of new technology and you use the office zones instead rather than these. Now I was going to enact that policy. It was already enacted for some reason. Maybe I clicked on it accidentally, I'm guessing, but that was the problem. I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to pause this now, get rid of all these and change them to office blocks. So that's that whole area replaced with blues. So there's been some significant updates for this game and I wasn't aware um, before you could get away with still using the yellow industry, you still needed it in fact, and people were putting offices down. <clears throat> but you couldn't get away with just office blocks, you still had to have the yellow industry. Even if it was, even if it was just for farming and stuff like that, you still had to have it. There we go. Yeah, so that's changed. That's going to change now. But yeah, the, the way the game plays has changed. Now you still needed yellow industry, but now it looks like we've moved away from that totally. What is this? The em uh, finished empty in landfill site. Let's delete that. We don't want those. And we'll put a recycling center or two here in its place. Right, I've gone into this district. Thornton Square, our industrial district. I've turned off Industry 4.0 because I want them to obviously work in these buildings. Now I don't suddenly... Uh, what I'm going to do is turn this on, which is enable style of European building styles. So it's going to demolish all my buildings here and rebuild them in this new European style, which is what would be good for a laugh. The European style is what you get on some of the other maps, which I didn't want for my whole city because you can't have skyscrapers. Uh, so going to rebuild in this European style, fair enough, it's going to demolish everything. When? Straight away? Unpause. But they've got enough workers now, so is that now going to, yeah, it's now going to demolish, I believe, well, one's gone. Now, all that, all that industry going out was, uh, that was going to cost us loads of money as well with all our industry stopping there. As it all changes over, you're going to notice that 18,000 at the bottom is going to go up a lot more and I'll, uh, I'll point it out to you later on in the video. I've also put a load of office and some shops areas around here. Build this up a little bit. Maybe not too much. Don't want it crowded, still want it to look all right. Yeah, we'll put them there. So we're just extending our highways over here. Obviously that's the wrong direction at the moment. We've got to change that around. Go, and then we'll do some slip roads on and off of that as well. There we go, a couple of slip roads coming on and off. And I'll do a couple more over this side in a minute. Actually, we really should be working on our metros. The bus, sort, uh, bus situation has sorted itself out. I bet you any money these bus lines are busy as hell. Let's see. Okay, so I've had to up the buses coming on those lines in quite a number of areas, so we know what that means. Traffic jam again. <laughs> they just love it. The colours just look wicked. It won't take long to clear. I haven't done too many. But uh, there's about si around 16, 17 buses on each line. I'll show you the lines. So we really do need Metro. 16, 16 buses, 17 buses or so on each line. And they go right spread out. You can see that's the yellow line there, the size of it. That's 16, 17 buses on this yellow line. Let's just pick on this one for a minute. So you can see the yellow bus going around there. So they're not that close together. They're quite a, a distance away when they... Quite a distance away from each other. And these, these stops, they're all busy. They all need like 17 buses on these routes.
Yeah, so that's our, our oil industry turning itself around, I guess, building back up. But all these people here will go and get jobs, they will work there. So with education, the city is pretty much educated with elementary school level, that's pretty much done. High school level, still needs a lot. I've checked this school in the middle here, it's not full up. Just check this one, make sure this isn't full up as well. Plenty of room, 623 students. 1250 altogether capacity so yeah not even it's about half full right let's carry on working on our metro lines nice right, set up a one metro station up here one metro line okay so a new stop added in between here that leads down to our office area down here. Also I managed to get the rest of the line underground because it was going above here. As you can see I need to delete the rest of it. There we go. And we managed to get it to go underground. Uh, new metro station just there. And it's going underground round here and then to the office area. to uh, adjust the bike lane a little bit so it's gone a little bit wonky there. Uh, this is the actual subway. I've just put a new subway in by Oriental Hills up here. Tiny little inconspicuous thing but I'm sure they will appreciate it. We could do with upgrading the road around here as well. There, upgraded it to a two-way road with trees. It does look nicer. Let's upgrade the ones around it as well. There. Compared to the bare ones that I haven't yet upgraded. Yeah, it does look nicer and will look nicer once I upgrade them all, but yeah, it's still working on metros. So we'll sort out the rest of the metro lines, carry on with that, so many more we can get in and then we'll probably finish up this episode. I want to try and get these metro lines set around in a, in a big loop, really. There we go, so we've extended the purple line down here now as well. Slowly getting there, it's a lot of money. 15 grand for a subway and then about another 15 odd grand just for a little bit of stretch of track down there. The areas around it will build up, they'll build up quicker, they'll build up to a higher land value. There we go, so we had one more purple stop down here. Obviously we probably get one more stop in between before we join it up, but we'll leave it there for episode 16 this week. Um, the money coming in is 14,831 as you see down the bottom there. I did expect that to, to be going up more than 18,000. I think it's obviously because we haven't got our workplaces full as much as I expected they would be. I thought we needed a lot more, but no, I guess I'll change that. But we, don't, we didn't need all that industry either, so I can expand this with more people. Let's really fill up this oil industry. Uh, 15 grand. Still got people coming into the city. 26,500 now. So as it continues to grow and I fill in all this area here with population. See so how many prisoners we've got. You bad boys, you. 105 out of 500. Two prison vans in use. Going to pick them all up. That'd be that new police headquarters then. Doing the deed for us. What's up with you two? Not enough goods to sell. You'll get there, don't worry. <laughs> Thanks for staying tuned, guys. Take it easy.